Bukiwe lives in Kailicha, a sprawling township outside of Cape Town. She is one of nearly 52 million South Africans and one of 13 million that cannot find employment. But a corporate social investment initiative of the Fushini Group, in partnership with the non-profit organization Learn to Earn, is making a real difference to her life and hundreds of others by giving them skills and opportunity. This is the Feel Good Project. The Feel Good Store is the retail arm of this initiative. Behind it is a program which is transforming the traditional one-way approach to charity into a powerful two-way and self-funding partnership. It's not about writing a cheque, it's about creating an energy that's sustainable in your business. It's about reaching the hearts and minds of your own staff, about pulling their knowledge and skills into a project that will last beyond the lifespan of anyone in the business. This is about making a difference, about allowing staff to be involved, about people being proud about what they're doing and about looking at the country as a whole and saying what do we need in our country? We need to build skills, we need to create jobs and we need to make sure that people feel empowered and that you do it without it being inauthentic something that is real and something that matters and something that's sustainable. That's what the feel-good story is. The concept is simple. Use a sustainable resource in the form of stock made up of customer returns, overruns or rejects as a means to develop skills and enhance employment opportunities. Partnering with Learn to Earn enabled the project to tap into an organisation with a like-minded philosophy one that had experience in skills training and an infrastructure that could take on the huge task of project management. Yeah, our strap phrase is a hand up, not a handout. And our, our, the, the key aspect of Learn to Earn's approach and this philosophy is building up the person, the dignity and the self-respect. And it's a partnership. The Feel Good Project utilizes the Fushini Group's extensive infrastructure to support skills training at many levels. At the warehousing level, skills are taught to manage the thousands of units of customer returns, rejects, limited designer samples and overruns that make up the lifeblood of the Feel Good project. They are logged, sorted, then dispatched to production. Here, all customer return garments are laundered and then separated. Individuals are taught further skills in sewing and repair work with a view to graduates opening their own sewing and repair shops one day. Once reconditioned and tagged, the merchandise is then transported to the Feel Good store, where it is sold to the public at very competitive prices. The first Feel Good store in Claremont, Cape Town, began trading on the 7th of May 2009. All profits generated go back into funding the Feel Good project. Within the first six months of uh, operations and running the Feel Good Project, we have been able to tick off the block of uh, you know, self-sustainable and we've never had to ask for more money uh, or cash injection to, to keep the, the project afloat. I think uh, you know, this is a classic case of where uh, corporate meets social and you know, taking it to the new uh, and next level. The Feel Good Project has been in operation for four years now. Over 150 people have been trained and of those, 70% have found permanent employment. Like Tembukazi, having had the opportunity to learn new skills has been a life-changing experience. Now I feel like I can take on the world because I've been taught everything, I know everything, so I, I just want to do more. Yes. I think what makes this project so incredible is that every individual in TFG can make a difference by contributing of their time or their expertise or their stock to the success of this project. The next phase of the project is moving into new premises in Kailicha, which will house the second Feel Good store, as well as all the support functions of repair, laundry, warehousing and dispatch. This will now streamline all operations and most importantly, double the number of trainees, offering so many more South Africans the opportunity to develop new skills, leading to an exciting career in retail. We know that for years to come, we'll be giving many more individuals the opportunity for employment. After all, at TFG, doing good never goes out of fashion. <laughs>